Today, what the things that we're going to reveal, the things that we're going to discuss, are those one one percenters. Okay, and combine them all, and that's what's going to that's what makes our business now. Um, one of the speakers earlier today talked about you know sharing your ideas and things like that. I don't have too much of a problem doing that because I'm a big believer in givers gain. The more you give, the more you get back. And I don't list or sell property, but um, apart from the things that get referred to me, and I I list about four properties a month just on referrals. I don't have a database. I'm not I'm not a listing and selling agent. I don't take call-ins. My job my role in the business is to to help my staff in, you know, 2x their, their income every single year. That's my, that's my goal. My goal is to protect their environment and to enhance their environment. That's my role day in and day out, okay? And so, yeah, so it's not about, so I'm not, I'm not fussed about giving ideas. I share it on Facebook and, uh, and that's what it's about. That's what that, and I think that's what technology has allowed us to do in the last couple of years, just allowed us to share more and people to develop in and, 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 and grow on things. Um, success leaves clues, guys. Success leaves clues. So there's going to be one or two things in here that I've already said today. That's a little bit of a tip. That's code for do it. <laughs> okay, let's get cracking. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is just things that you can implement pretty quickly, which is the one day is, seven day is. Open for inspections, I think they're one of the biggest database collecting tools there is. Um, I'm on the same page as Chris, it's not about buyers, we're here to list property, okay? Or my team are here to list property. Just a few bits of marketing ideas, how we engage the community and what gives, um, what things that I've done in the past to give us a point of difference and get us in media, okay? So let's get going. Change voicemail every day. So you call me today and it says, hi, uh, it's Monday the 8th of April and you called Michael Choi from McDonald Real Estate, please leave me a message and I promise to return your call within three business hours. Every single day I change that, I change it at 11 o'clock when I go to bed. Happy MMS, happy anything MMS. So whether it be happy birthday, happy anniversary or anything, we record ourselves and we, we send that to, to people. Okay, so I, I put on a hat, streamers, whatever, okay? And um, I do that to my friends and my friends love it because I'm the only person in, in our circle of influence that does that. I can't imagine, you know, clients get an extra kick out of it, okay? You get in trouble because the, the partners don't talk to them and they get in trouble because they're not as inventive. Um, <laughs> Mobile business card, the third point. Uh, so what you can do is you can put your details in your phone as someone, okay? So mine is Michael Choi, real estate agent. You've got your phone number, email, website, absolutely everything. Uh, someone asked me for my business card earlier today. I don't carry business cards, that's just what I do. Because I don't list and sell, so I don't carry business cards. Um, I grow the team. Um, but my business card was, give me your number and I sent uh, that lady my business card. It's a good way of picking up girls, is what you can get their number. <laughs> Anyways, uh, date. Date and time on thank you card, okay? So every time we, uh, thank you card, so you put the date and the time on the thank you card and it just shows your pre precision, okay? It's the same thing with changing the voicemail every day. It's precision, it's wow. If this guy's doing this, what else is he doing in his business? And it gives your client confidence. It gives them consistency, it gives them reliability, okay? And that's your brand, your ink, okay? Sorry I missed you, DL, uh, with a personal note. So I'm a big believer in door knocking, especially when you first start. The, our established team members don't do it because we collect the data for our team members. Um, but when you first start, it, it, I'm big on door knocking for at least a year, okay? And uh, what we have is uh, personalised DLs. So we write about the house. So just, sorry I missed you, just wanted to say, love this about your house, whether it be this plant, letterbox, anything. Anything that really stands out on that house, you write that on the card and you guys would be shocked the kind of effect that it has, as opposed to just leaving your business cards, sorry I missed you. People call back and go, wow, and they remember you for years and years and years because you, you spoke to something about them that was so, tr so precious to them, which is their letterbox or their plant or whatever it may be, okay? It's special to them. Handwrite on a bent business card. So um, we've got these business cards that it's actually printed handwritten, okay? So it says, please call me regarding your property and the phone number. And it looks like we've, we've handwritten that in pen. We've actually got that printed out in a thousand and we bend it so, so that when it's in the mailbox, it's easier to pick up. And you'd be surprised, out of a thousand, you get a good 10 calls. Uh, so that's better than any other letterbox drop I know. 
apart from the price drive. We all know the price drive, yeah? The good old price drive. There's one little kick, one little change that I've made to this price, price drive um, letter. Now, for those of you that don't know what the price drive letter is, it's, um, we're, dear Bob Smith, we're going to be in your street, and you say the street on Thursday, and the, and the times that you're going to be there, okay? And you say that you're going to be appraising the properties. The difference that we made to this is the open rate, okay? Most people send this with a letterhead right there, okay? And they fold it with a letterhead right there so it says real estate agent and no one opens it. We still have the letterhead there, but the difference is we fold it inside out in color with a street name. And that's changed our open rate, okay? People, just imagine you live on Bob Street and you get something in your mailbox that says Bob Street. That never happens. You open it, you read it straight away. So we get really good inquiry on that. You can only probably do that two or three times a year because people remember it so, so much, okay? See these highlight? Um, sorry, we're on highlight all, by the way. That's not what I wanted to talk about. But um, what we've done is we've put red borders because our brand is red. So we put red borders around everything on the internet. I'm not taking anything away from this crew. This crew is an awesome pack. Um, but if you just look here, these properties, they stand out a lot more than that simply because of the red border. Okay, quite a few agents in the area have copied us, but you know, that's, that's uh, a sign that we're on track. So all our properties stand out on the internet on realestate.com. They all have borders and it looks like realestate.com gave us the borders, but they didn't, it's us. Okay, and realestate.com can't change it because if you're allowed to put watermarks, you're allowed to put borders. Seven days. Anyone that you've added to your database, you don't want anyone else adding them to your database. So you give them free do not knock stickers and, and uh, no junk mail stickers. <laughs> You'd be surprised. People love it. And once that's up, that's it, they're yours, okay? So yeah, make sure they're in your database first, okay? Just don't go sending them out to the whole farm place. But yeah, free do not knock stickers and uh, no junk mail stickers, not branded. I'm not a big fan of calendars and things like that or, or footy fixtures because they run out or they're timely, okay? So we go around to all the shops, we get them on, on a magnet and that just stays up for the whole year. It stays up forever. I've gone to houses, this is four years old and I still go to houses and, and they're on, on at least 50% of the fridges. It costs two grand to do or something like that. It's, it's peanuts and what happens is the brand's there. Okay, a guarantee. Um, this is in our listing presentation. So basically, what happens is if you're unhappy with our anything that we do or our services, our lack of communication or whatever it may be, you can pull out of our authority whenever you want. And I believe in my team. I believe in my crew that much that we've got that. Okay, and and what that does is it keeps it keeps the team on, on on their toes anyway. Okay, so a guarantee to any uh, vendor. If they want to take it off the market, they can take it off the market, okay? Oh, this is something just a little bit funny. Uh, upside down sold sticker, market upside down, nobody told us. We did that for a month and the whole community were talking about it. Just something a little bit cheeky um, and it just made people talk about it, okay? So it's all about just those little one percenters just being a little bit quirky, being a little bit different and having a little bit of fun. Survival kit on the subject of fun. Um, so basically, if you read that, would you agree that a rubber band and paper clip are never there when you need it? It's because you throw them away thinking that you'll never use it. You could say the same thing about my business card, so I've enclosed all three to complete your survival kit. So we send that to our database, say once or tw uh, once a year or every two years or something, with an, uh, uh, you know, a paper clip, an elastic band and a business card. It's just cheeky, it's, it's funny, it's quirky, it makes people smile when they look at it and um, and some people keep it because like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do need elastic band, so I might as well keep the business card because I may not know when I need it. But that's not the reason why we do it. It's just to have edge, okay? It's simply just to have edge. Joint venture, so uh, Aaron was talking about joint ventures. We've got quite a few joint ventures with businesses in the area. Uh, this one is photography. Um, so the photographer gives um, our clients $230 worth of uh, shoots. Um, they get the opportunity to upsell and we look like we're paying $230 for photos. So it's a win-win, doesn't cost anyone anything, and so they, make, they make business. So we've got quite a few, we've got storage, uh, we've got massages, we've got quite a few businesses that are on this. That actually makes up our, um, our pack 
for when we settle. So we've got all these gifts for people that are coming into the area of all these local shops and it looks like we're investing into them and, and all we've done is invested in the time to talk to the shops and the shops love us. So it's a win-win and they refer business to us as well.